everyone. We are off to the surgical center to get Grant's checkup done. It's been almost two weeks since he had his surgery. Uh, so Dr. Pearson wanted him to come in to have a checkup. So I'm not sure if they're going to do blood work. Just look at his incisions. I'm not sure yet. They didn't really say um, what they were going to be doing. So I will check in with you guys as soon as we're done. Well, we're here. Grant is in getting his checkup and boy was he shaking. <laughs> we pulled in, he heard a couple dogs bark as they were getting taken into the surgical center and he was shaking like a leaf. Um, he started smacking his lips. I thought he was gonna throw up, but I pet him and calmed him down and he was fine. But um, the lady who came out to get him wasn't sure if they were doing blood work or not. Um, but he's just gonna get looked over. He would not walk in either. I, <laughs> I had to help get him in the door. I had to carry him and get him in the door. <laughs> he's like, I don't like this place. <laughs> All right, they let Grant come back out here to relax, but we're waiting on his blood work. It's just finishing up, but. <laughs> you, were you a stinker in there, Grant? Were you a stinker in there? <laughs> they said he was really good getting his blood taken. Um, he just, I'm sure, gets really nervous in there because he's been to the vet's office so much. Poor baby. Poor baby Grant. Yep, so. He's got to sit here a little bit longer and wait for your blood results and see if they're going to give you meds or if everything's okay if we're just on our way. We'll see. Hey everyone, it's the next day. It's Tuesday the 24th. Um, just left the boys outside. I think they see a squirrel over there. I don't know. <laughs> um, I didn't finish up my video because yesterday was my daughter's birthday. Um, so we went out to dinner, um, had people over for cake. So I never got a chance to get back on and let you guys know that Grant's uh, blood work looks much better, Dr. Pearson said. Well, she told her tech to let me know that. She's supposed to be calling me today. They had an emergency yesterday. Um, let me go outside. It's hot outside today, you guys. Yes, it's hot outside. Um, they had an emergency yesterday, so um, once she got the blood work and saw that it was good uh doing a lot better she just uh, had the vet tech bring grant back out to me um and let me know that she'd be calling me either yesterday or today she never ended up calling me yesterday i text her um to make sure and remind her to please give me a call today <laughs> but i'm happy his numbers are looking good um she said he doesn't need to come back for um two months get his blood work checked again um she said his incisions all looking good um except for that one spot where he got to his leg right there in the corner but it's it's healing up it's just it could have been faster <laughs> it could have been faster my fault for not having the cone on his head yes my fault um so yeah he's doing really good i'm excited she didn't have to prescribe him any kind of new medications um, just take the Ursa Doyle like he's been doing. Um, and then I recheck in two months. So today I have, yes, it's hot out boys. Whew. It is hot. It's going to be a hot rest of the week too. I think they said the real feel is going to feel like a hundred today with the humidity. Um, kitty, what are you doing in my window? What? <laughs> he loves to sit in my window. I wipe my counters down all the time, so I guess I don't care. Um, so today I have to take Kitten for a checkup, his yearly checkup. Um, I do need to talk to them uh, about Kitten. He's, I've noticed he's been a little stiff-legged in the back legs. Um, so I don't know if he maybe has some arthritis maybe setting in or just, I don't know, do cat, do they have joint supplements for cats? I guess I've never looked. 
Um, cause cats I've had in the past have never had that problem. I know dogs have joint supplements, but I'm not sure about cats. I've never noticed. So I'm going to talk to her about that, about his back legs. I mean, he gets around fine, but I just noticed sometimes when he's, um, been laying around and sleeping, which he does most of the day cause he's, he's an older cat. Um, I believe he's 15, 15, I think. Oh, geez. Um, I'll have to add it up. I don't have his exact birthday because um, back then I wasn't writing down birthdays for my animals. And he was found in my mom's ditch. Him and his two, his brother and his sister. Um, they were little. She thinks maybe the mama was bringing them back and forth. Something may have happened to the mama cat. Um, so they found him. Or someone threw them in her ditch. We're not sure. So we had to bottle feed and do all that for the kitties. And then I ended up taking a kitten into our house. So, um, yeah, so gosh, I can't remember. My daughter was going in fifth grade and my daughter's 25 now. <laughs> yeah, she turned 25 yesterday. So I'm going to have to figure it out and I'll pop it on the screen how old he is. Um, yeah, so he's an older kitty, so he may have some arthritis going on in his hips or his legs. I'm not sure, so I've got to talk to the doctor about that and see if we can get him some kind of supplement. But Mr. Grant is doing wonderful. I'm so happy for him. He's just been bouncing around, running. Um, he's doing really good, really good. I'm so happy. Um, let's keep our fingers crossed. But that's it for major things with Mr. Grant. <laughs> Let's keep our fingers crossed and say a little prayer tonight that that's it for anything major for him. Um, I feel so bad. He's been through so much the past year. So, all right, guys, I will jump back on after I take Kitten to the vet and let you know how his checkup went. So I thought I'd jump back on now that I have Kitten in his crate here, uh, ready to go to the vet. I thought I'd jump back on and show you Kitten in case you're a new subscriber. Um, I didn't want anyone to think the kitty sitting in my window in the previous clip, the black kitty. Uh, I didn't want you to think that was kitten. That's Merlin. Merlin is two years old and we found him two years ago under our car when we were coming out of the family farm and home uh, store. It's kind of like a tractor supply. Uh, we found him under our car in their parking lot. <laughs> And at the time we found him was the time when kit kittens were aplenty, all the rescues, the shelters, everything, they were just overflowing with kittens. So Merlin became our kitty. <laughs> so this is Kitten. His real name is Truman, but we were bad and never called him by his name. We always called him Kitten, even as he grew up. So his name really is Kitten, even though we in the beginning named him Truman. Uh, <laughs> yes, he's a very good kitty. You've been a very good kitty and you've put up with all the boys coming into your life. Yes, we had kitten before any of the schnauzers came. You've been very nice with putting up with all those doggies and Merlin. Yes, you have. You're a good kitty. All right, I'm gonna get him to the vet. Look at these animals. They're so interested in the crate I took Kitten to the vet in. What are you doing, Marley? You gonna go in there, Marley? <laughs> They've just been sniffing it up and down. So, Kitten's appointment went good. We did find out that he does have a, um, I don't wanna call it slight, small, he has a heart murmur that the vet's not con too concerned with right now. Um, but we do need to keep an eye on it. Um, he has chin acne. I never knew cats got chin acne, but I guess there's glands on their chin. And when they rub their face on things, they can get clogged just like our pores can get clogged. And it, cause them to it causes them to have like little pimples or blackheads. I never knew. Um... I would notice sometimes Kitten would have a, a scab or what looked like a little teeny sore on his chin. And I thought maybe he was just scratching his face too hard. Um, but it's actually chin acne. So he said, who's in there? 
that Milo in there? <laughs> Let Milo out. Um, <laughs> he said just get like a Stridex pad and just rub it on his chin. Maybe just, he said not a lot, maybe twice a week. Um, and that will help that. So yeah, learn something new every time I go to the vet, it seems like. Yeah, so, <laughs> but overall, he said he looks great. Um, he's upstairs already snoozing probably on the bed upstairs. Um, I let him out of that crate and he was gone. <laughs> um, he said, uh, otherwise he looks great. He said everything else looks wonderful. So that's why he's not real concerned about his, the heart murmur. He did tell me when he's resting, like when he's sleeping, set a stopwatch for like one minute and count his breaths per minute. If they get over 30, um, I should have him seen. So, oh, you got Mr. Bill? <laughs> I was like, what is that noise? I thought a cat was meowing. <laughs> you got Mr. Bill? Oh, somebody messed up my rug. He loves that Mr. Bill. Yes, he does. <laughs> so, yeah, so overall, good checkup. Just got to keep an eye on that um, heart murmur. So I'm going to get going. As you can see, I have a pile of laundry here to do. Um, and I'm just going to relax the rest of the day until I got to make dinner. Um, it is so hot outside, you guys. Oh, I know I said that earlier, but oh my goodness. It is so hot. Miggy doesn't even want to stay outside. Yeah, Miggy doesn't even want to stay outside. So that tells you how hot it is. You got the little mouse toy? You got the mousy toy? That's what Milo was playing with earlier. The kitty toy I got for the kitties. And the dogs have taken it over. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm going to get going. Hope everybody's having a great week. And we'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye. I wanted to jump back on because I misspoke earlier when I was talking about kitten's chin acne. Um, I said that you need to use a Stridex pad uh, twice a week. I meant uh, these. A Chlorohexidine pad. They look like a Stridex pad. <laughs> totally misspoke. So I wanted to get on here and correct that so nobody uses a Stridex pad on their cat's chin. Um, this is what you want to use. It's like an antifungal antiseptic uh, pad. Um, and they just look like Stridex pads. So you want to use one of these a couple times a week, he said. So, all right, guys. Just wanted to correct my mistake in the previous clip. See you guys later.